Okay guys, welcome back to another episode of uh, Murder Mystery Machine. Let's jump right in. Episodes are moving along pretty quickly. The story is getting uh, definitely interesting, so let's go. Uniform Siri, there was no response at the Lewis home. So where's the husband? That's the question. No car outside, no lights on. Neighbors say they haven't seen him since yesterday morning. The husband being missing can't be a coincidence it's not it's another headache but in better news we got some information on Sophia's vehicle it was seen driving erratically a few blocks from the hotel picked up on a traffic camera and that helps how because it was picked up at 742 okay I'm sure that time is gonna play in to the time she left work in the time she was found he lied about the time she left okay it's something it is you know what they say a bird in the hand <laughs> okay so you get it a bird in the hand and that's the name of the uh, isn't that the name of the the jazz club okay so where's the portal that we choose from Alright, so we did scene three, act two, bird in the hand. We went to the sleazy car park and received more evidence. That's where we got that wretched B. And now we're going uh, back to, yeah, back to the bird in the hand. We were there in scene three, act two. So we're going back uh, in scene three act four to gather some more uh, information so let's go okay find the name and address of the lead so we're back and we see Jake sitting there I don't see any evidence so Let's talk to Jake. Mr. Pemmington, I'm sorry to confirm that the deceased is, as thought, Sophia Lewis. Okay, so she's breaking the news to, uh, to Jake. I just can't believe it. I have a few follow-up questions, if you don't mind. Whatever I can do to help. We, as of yet, been able to contact Mr. Lewis about his wife's death. Have you been in contact with him at all? No, I tried to call to make sure he was okay, but he didn't answer. Have you had any contact with him since we last spoke? No, like I said, yesterday afternoon was the last time I spoke with him, and he obviously didn't come into work. And this, and is this lack of communication usual for Michael? All right, evidence, not exactly, okay. Michael has a tendency to drop off the map every once in a while. Any reason for that? I'm not comfortable discussing this. Oh, I don't care what you're comfortable with discussing, Mr. Pemmington. A woman is dead and a husband is missing. That's what I care about, that's all I care about. Look, Michael likes women. He always has, and the ring on his finger didn't do much to quell that interest. You do get me. Unfortunately, I do. He always comes back in the end. All right, we have evidence. He sounds like a real stand-up guy. <laughs> That's enough for now. We'll be in touch. K. 
Cass has a way of just throwing these jabs. I just want to make sure there's no evidence. Oh, and there is. Okay. Alright, what's this? A photo of a couple. A photo of couple. Alright, so that's the photograph that I think was on the wall. For some reason, he's taking it down to look at it. A college photo of them both kissing in college. So apparently he still has feelings for her. And where's the other one? What's this about? Michael's work diary. Okay. Work commencing on the 5th. So does anything jump out? Morning shift, morning shift, split shift, split shift, split shift, unable to cover, so need cover. Somebody couldn't work on the Friday, he was off Saturday and Sunday, split shift, unable to cover Tuesday, night shift, night shift, wow, three pages. Okay, unavailable to cover. I'm sure that's going to line up with uh, with a time frame. I just don't see it yet. And there was one more. Where is it? Sophia's purse. Sophia may have left early. Okay. All right. So we have some good evidence. Let's see if that's it. We like to gather everything. We have to zoom in because we don't want to miss anything. And there's that sniff again. And Nate is nowhere around. So what do you think? Remember a couple of episodes ago where uh, Cass received the call that said, watch out for Nate, he's not to be trusted. What do you, what do you guys think? I mean, was it something innocent that maybe Nate ratted on Lou? to have him removed from the force like it leaves me thinking either Nate did something shady or maybe Nate did something brave why is that guy saying Nate can't be trusted but I guess that's another episode down the line okay it looks like we have all of our uh, evidence Oops, didn't mean to do that Looks like we have all of our evidence. And there's no dialogue from Jake. All right, so let's start going through this evidence. Michael's diary, infrequent work shifts, frequent absences. Sophia's purse was left there. Sophia may have left early photo of the couple that I went over okay Michael he's promiscuous we figured that out last episode with his uh, receipt ledger he disappears often okay you say that that's a connection there Sophia's husband he's often absent yeah we discussed that Jake hasn't managed to contact Michael yet. Jake confirmed Sophia finished her shift. But if she finished her shift, didn't something say she left early? Yeah, so, okay. Something's fishy here. He says she finished her shift and we know he lies. He nice. Okay. All right. We're starting out good. We're starting out good. Uh, so it's a dialogue. Okay. He has something to say. Let's find out what it is. Got a few more questions for you. Whatever I can do to help. Why did you tell me Sophia left sometime after 8 p.m.? Because she did. No, she didn't. 
and I know she didn't. I just don't know why you lie about it. I didn't lie. She finished at 8 p.m., so I assumed. Ah. Save it. We have her on camera minutes from the murder, minutes from the murder scene where you claim she was here working. Okay, I figure all that would tie in to a time frame. So, she left early, but he says she was there, and the camera puts her somewhere else. So, why did... Okay, he, he, he lied and did some falsification. I guess I read the timesheet. That's why I would have been mistaken. See, when it doesn't make sense like this, he's, he's, it's a lie. The time she's fulfilled in is signed by you. Yeah, see, like, so he doctored the time sheets. The time sheets were filled in and signed by you. You made it seem like she was working when she wasn't. But what I can't work out is why you would say someone whose business is hemorrhaging money lie about such a thing so was he knew she left early but he said she left at a different time was that to throw them off the case that he did something to her or was that to were they were they meeting what well, I wouldn't make well, let's see. Let's see. <laughs> Did he get silent and scratch his head for real? That's your only answer. Only when we only one only reason I can come up with is that you didn't tell us to know that she left early, which doesn't make it look good for you. All right, good. More evidence, cause his story, man, it's not what you think. We'll be in touch. Okay, what was new? Okay. Lied about Sophia's finish time. Yeah, he lied. Okay, he lied about Sophia's finishing time. Okay, I'm sorry. I just don't like evidence going all the way across the board. So we're just going to put this over here to make it nice and neat. Okay, I have some thinking to So it says, find the name and address of the lead. So who and where? So is there another person? What's the lead? Find the name and address of a lead. So it's sending us somewhere else but to see who. get some of this in order so we can think because this stuff can be confusing if it's not all ironed out all right the what and the where Michael's diary frequent absences Okay, often disappears. Sophia's husband. Okay, where was that? Disappears because... Okay, this is already joined. Two things... Okay, this is already a group. So the frequent, the frequent absences because he's promiscuous? Awesome, okay. Okay. All right. I think we're gonna get an A on this. This is going like really smooth. Got a few more questions for you. Whatever I can do to help. 
Ask about Michael's potential affair. Potential affair? Was Michael having an affair? How is that relevant to Sophia? It's relevant because I say it is. Tell him, Cass. Was he having an affair currently? Yes. With who? Awesome. More evidence. I don't know. We'll be in touch. Okay, what popped? Okay, there it is. Michael was having an affair. Jake knew. Lied about Sophia's finishing time. Hasn't contacted Michael. Did he do something with Michael? Jake blackmailed Michael. Jake confirmed Sophia's okay. You guys can see this. Sophia's purse. Yeah, so she le she left her purse to go to the hotel. But why? Did she know her husband was going to be there with someone? Is that why? Okay. Find the name and address of a lead. There aren't any new characters popping up. Maybe... Okay. All right. All right. Think. Think. Were there more? Was there something else to say? No. Was there any more evidence? All right, doesn't look like it. Okay, looks like we have to put our thinking caps on. Okay, cuts on palm, blunt force trauma. Sophia left early. She left her purse behind. Jake confirmed Sophia finished on time. Jake blackmailed Michael. So if Jake knew about the affair was he blackmailing uh, okay I got it well does that even make sense okay I'm gonna say it because when I if I get it right I don't want to say, oh, it was what I th I was thinking. I'm thinking, okay, these photos were on the table. Where? On the table. Because Jake, either he did something to Sophia, and he's guilty. And he's, well, you, you would think if somebody did something to someone, they didn't want to look at their photos. So maybe he's looking at these photos because he's pining for her that someone did something to her. Okay, that's what I'm thinking, okay. Because I think if, you, if he offed her, he wouldn't be looking at her photos going, why? I think he would be looking at his photos because remember this photo was on the wall. I think he would be looking at the photos like pining over her in his sadness. So and the fact okay. So he's still in love with her. And we know the evidence they found in the car. Okay, I need to start making connections instead of Droning on, making the videos an hour long. Um, so let's look at the question marks. Jake. I think Jake was blackmailing Michael. Either give me the business or. I'll tell your wife. 
so knowing he is still in love with her okay so okay all right i'm really realizing when we sit down it's like the most logical thing is the answer and sometimes when we think too much we get thrown off because we start considering all these other things okay got a few more questions for you whatever i can do to help ask about jake's threatening note did you threaten michael what of course not dude it was you we found a note from you to him and it wasn't exactly friendly where did you that's not important what is important is that you were blackmailing a business partner and supposed friend it's not like that what is it like then because from where I'm standing you were blackmailing Michael Lewis and his wife has now turned up dead so He wanted Sophia. Okay, I can't go back to the evidence. He wanted Sophia for himself. He threatened to tell Michael about. He threatened to tell Sophia about Michael's affairs. If Michael didn't leave her so he could get with her but who would do that what husband would do that alright let's, let's find out and his wife has now turned up dead no 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 you've got it all wrong I didn't kill Sophia hmm I wouldn't hurt her she was the reason for the note go on I, I was sick and tired of how Michael was treating her I told him he had to end his affair and come clean okay or else Exactly. I told him if he didn't tell Sophia, I would. Okay, how would he respond? He blew up, told me that if that it was none of my business and to butt out. What was this? Yesterday afternoon. Okay, we have more evidence. Ask about offer to buy Michael out. Why were you trying to buy Michael out of the business? Because he was killing it. I told him we need to calm the spending, but no, he wouldn't listen. His expenses were our biggest outgoing. Yeah, and he was charging stuff to the business from the last episode. Have you figured it would be cheaper? And you figure it would be cheaper to buy him out than to rein him in. Hmm. You don't think I tried to rein him in? This was the last resort. I raised every cent I could to buy him out. It was the only chance the business had, okay. Was he turned you down? Yesterday afternoon he called to say he wouldn't be going anywhere. The thing is, he doesn't even want the business. He see it die to spite me. Okay, we have more evidence. Pressure Jake. How can we pressure Jake? Do you have any idea how bad this looks? You lied about her whereabouts. You were blackmailing her husband about his affair. And he had rejected your attempts to buy him out. You are making it seem worse than it is. I'm just relaying the facts. I didn't hurt Sophia, not Sophia, not intentionally. Not what? Not intentionally? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So, there seems to be a theme here. Everyone who gets taken out gets taken out unintentionally. Like Billy when she stabbed Lou, it was unintentional. She didn't mean to do it. Now this guy, okay, not intentionally. No, I mean not physically. I didn't do anything to her. This is all Michael's fault. I told him I'd tell her. Wait, you told Sylvia about Michael's affair. He caught my bluff. So you thought you'd ruin her marriage to get back at Michael? No, it was never about him. I couldn't care who he was sleeping with as long as it, wow, as long as it wasn't Sophia. You had feelings for Sophia. Of course he did, or does. I was in love with her. New evidence. 
What did you tell her? I told her where to f ah. I told her where to find him, the Sleep Easy Motel, and you knew he'd be there with the woman. Wow. I thought if she could catch him red-handed, she'd see what he was, what he really was, and end up with you. How romantic. Wow. Cass has a way of like just going in for the the the, the jab. I didn't know if she would end up with me. I didn't think that far ahead. I just knew she was better off without him. All right, more evidence. And now she's dead. Whoa, we'll be in touch. Whoa, okay, that's a bombshell. That's a bombshell. Okay, so where the address of the hotel just popped up. So that has to be the where. We've answered all of our deductions. Okay, we have to start making sense of some of this stuff. It's too jumbled up. All right, what can we gather? All right, this episode is coming along. I say this now. It's coming along pretty pretty easily, pretty smoothly. Fingers crossed. I hope we don't run into any trouble. Okay, this is like, all right, that's, all right, that's better. I just don't like to see stuff crossing each other and feel the same too. Oh, it's saying this can't go over the map guy. All right, that looks a little better. All right, so now we can think. Okay, where were we? Where were we? Were there, was there anything else? Any more evidence? Whoa, wait a minute. Look at that phone. Remember those old mobile phones? Wow. Okay, I, f I forget this takes place like back in the day. All right, so where are we? Where are we? Put your thinking cap on. Okay, we know the where. We know the where right we need the who we have all our deductions one two we have three yeah one two three all those are filled so the who what's the who what's the who hmm the who? Is the who Jake? He didn't have anything to do with it, though. If we believe him. Remember, we believe Billy, and she stabbed Lou with the knife in her bag. Okay, what is this asking? Current objective, find the name and address of a lead. Michael, he 
she's in love with her often disappears address of the motel that's where gave ultimatum Michael's having an affair lied they confirmed preferably. Yeah, he told her about the hotel. What are we missing, though? So. Jake told Sophia about the motel. So he told her about that. Okay, what's the game asking? Who? Find the name and address of a lead. Where? Is the lead Jake? Is was it that simple? Find the name and address of a lead. How can it be Jake? Address of the hotel is the where. Who is Michael at the hotel? Oh no, we're gonna oh, we're gonna have to use something because I'm drawing a blank. I'm drawing a blank. Photo of couple. He's in love with her. absent is Michael at the hotel but that's already connected I don't think you connect evidence and evidence so Michael is absent is he at something tells me Michael was at this hotel but is he alive or well he was there that night okay he was there that night let's see oh, I don't want to tank our score are you sure you want to make this submission Find the name and address of a lead. But how can Jake be the lead if she's talking to Jake? So... We know... Or maybe this is past tense. Okay. All right, I don't want to stress the time, but I also don't want to tank our score. To me, this is the most logical answer. And I know, I know I hear I'll click out something and you guys think I'm going to go ahead and then I keep going back. I know, but I want to make sure this information is right because it's helped us out so far getting A pluses, but oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I swear, I'm going to have to do this live and let you guys guess and make the choices because this is pressure. This is a lot of pressure. And then I can blame you all for your wrong answers. <sighs> okay. Oh my gosh. Find the name and address of a current lead. I think it's going to send us to the motel. Which have been the only scenes, the bar and the motel. I'm pretty confident on that, but who? Find the name. Is Michael the lead? Once we find out information from Michael? See, let me see something. Does it say this regardless? <sighs> oh, did you see that? Okay, it's almost like the game has given us hints. Watch up the top. So when I, watch what happens. When I think it's Michael, well, that proved me wrong. 
that thing popped up and said, are you sure you want to make... It said it's a good idea not to make something. Do you want to be substantiated in your guess? That's, it's a good idea to submit only substantiated evidence. Try linking supporting evidence to you. I thought that was like a warning, but it pops up on both names, so. All right, guys, who are we going with? This is like the other episode. It's 50-50. It's not Sophia because she's deceased. It has to be Michael or Jake. All right, at the least, we'll have a B, so let me see. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I keep backing out. It has to be Michael. Jake is here with us. Find the name and address of a lead. Find the name and address of a lead. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm changing it again because find the ad, find the name and address of a lead. We're looking for Michael because we're here with Jake, and we need to go to ha to, to that hotel. That's my reasoning. Okay, fingers crossed. Please, 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 don't give me that shriek sound. Please, please, please. Yeah. You see why? I I do what I do. Oh my gosh. Thank you. No hints used. No failed attempts. Items discovered. Three out of three. Evidence discovered. 22 out of 22. Correct deductions. Three out of three. And we just didn't want to waste time doing substantiations. A freaking plus. All right. I'm on a roll. I think I'm going to film another episode after this. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying uh, Murder Mystery Machine. I'm definitely having a ball. It's almost like the guy's soap opera, I guess, you know? But nonetheless, it's an awesome mystery. I'm enjoying it. So I will see you guys next episode. Thanks so much for watching.